Hello everyone, this is Juliana and today I have a project share for you. Um, it's been some time since I've made a video and, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm excited to share this new journal that I made for uh, a trip that I'm going to be taking in a couple days. I'm going to be flying off to Portugal with my partner Victoria and um, over the last couple years we have gotten into the habit of taking I make a travel journal for us and usually what we do is while we're traveling we spend our early mornings putting together the pages um, of ephemera and photographs that we've collected from the day before and we glue it and collage and do some coloring and things like that and so I wanted to show you um, what this this new travel journal for we're going to Portugal we're leaving late on Friday night and I wanted to show you basically the components that I take with us. So this is the first time, as you notice, um, this is a spiral bound journal. Um, I used the bind it all to make it. It was the first time I, I had ever done that. And the pages came out a little wonky, but I, to be honest, I kind of like them like that. Um, I don't know if it will be that obvious when I open the book to do a flip through, but um, they're a little off, but you know, I, I think I've got gotten it down now. So let me begin. This um, journal has on the, ex on the outside, it has ticking fabric. Um, I've used chipboard here and adhered fabric and my handmade faux leather that I make. Um, the chipboard has been uh, distressed with vintage photo distress stain, so it gives it this nice deep brown, beautiful look. And um, so I have ticking fabric here, this faux leather. I'll bring it in a little closer so you can see. Um, I was I used a Tim Holtz nameplate and I was fortunate to find in one of my vintage travel books a, the word Portugal. I have some vintage uh, crocheted lace. This is uh, Vic probably a Victorian trim that was swapped with I did a swap with Jerry Bellini who is here on YouTube as recycled parts for arts um, she has a great uh, YouTube channel and she does a weekly vlog and also showcases some of the things that she's selling in her Etsy store so I highly recommend um, her channel so ticking is just wonderful fabric and someone in junk journal junkies the group that I belong to on Facebook said you just can't go wrong with it and it's sort of true and I'll bring in the the faux leather um, that I've made and I'm considering doing a tutorial on how I make it um, but it's got lots of texture and these kind of uh, dark patches to it so that's the exterior and then I put on this charm which is removable which I'll take off during the trip so that it doesn't get in the way but we're going to be biking in um, I don't know if you can see that but it's a bicycle we're going to be biking for about five or six days in the south of Portugal along the coast here is a, a suitcase little bag and then here is a, a passport. I hope that's coming into focus. So let's go inside. I have a hitch binding. It's a little chunky, but I've already decided that when I return, I'm going to swap out these wires here um, to their um, inch. They're an inch, and I'm going to swap them out for an inch and a quarter. So I've got a hitch post binding with a hair band here. It's the first time I did the hitch post. I really like it for this journal. 
the inside has um, there's a lot of stitching throughout this journal and this is from a vintage very old linen uh, curtain that I've used in the inside so going in I'm gonna go through somewhat quickly because there's not a lot done since we haven't done our travels yet and I'm hoping to show what the journal looks like afterwards but it starts out here with uh, the tag it says JFK and there's an airplane and then a bike and in the forecast we have some rain in Portugal but um, it's clearing up supposedly so I'm very excited about that so for most of the journal, yeah, for the majority of the journal, I used uh, a collection of vintage travel themed uh, scrapbook paper from Cartabella. So um, I put throughout, so inside I have this white thick, it's a thicker paper. It's actually art journal paper by a company called B Paper. They make really beautiful paper and I've coffee dyed it um, here just to show you this here is a tuck spot over here and some stamping and then I have this little paper here and I've stamped on it, it says Bem Vindo a Portugal which means welcome to Portugal and you have to excuse my accent I I speak several Latin languages actually and um, I'm trying to learn some basic phrases so just to be respectful to people while I'm in Portugal. So this is a vintage map of Portugal right here and we'll be in Lisbon for about five days and then this is on the south coast we'll be down here biking just the two of us on our own. So, okay, so flipping through, I have two more cards with some uh, Portuguese, and up here it says, Como você está? How are you? And eu estoy bem. I'm doing well. And as you can see, I've stitched um, on these cards. One second. I think I want to make it a little darker. Um, okay, maybe that's too dark, just futzing with the camera. Um, anyway, let's see. Here is some of the beautiful scrapbook paper that I used. Some smaller pages, another uh, tag with a phrase in Portuguese. Eu falo inglês. I speak um, English. And here's a CD holder. These are going to be very defunct and hard to come by soon, but it'll, it's a nice spot to put a photograph. Another tag, which says in Portuguese, I'm not going to torture you with my my fake Portuguese accent. It says, where is the bathroom? Very necessary when you're in a foreign country traveling. Um, one second. Um, I feel like this has gotten too dark. Okay. So, Let's see. I'm sorry about that. Um, anyway, more stamping up here. A little pocket because it'll be important to have pockets to put things in. And this is probably the first time I've ever done this, but I put the scrapbook paper in upside down. They're airplanes, vintage airplanes, and they're upside down. So it kind of reminds me of that famous uh, stamp which uh, the upside down Jenny, which is worth, if you ever get a hold of one of those, you want to keep, you want to keep that. I'm lowering the light again. This is obrigado, which means thank you. 
And here's this great uh, DVD CD uh, plastic envelope. And I've only got a few of these left. And it makes a great place to put a photograph. And here's from the collection a, a little card that says Adventure um, is out there. And it's true. I highly recommend traveling for everyone. And here's some of the coffee uh, dyeing that I did. Here again is another tuck spot. And here is from uh, Lori Jagadish and Junk Journal Junkies has a Etsy store called The Everyday Journal. I think that's what it's called. Um, she has some really nice things in there. And, um, and also just to mention Jerry Bellini at Recycled uh, Parts for Arts also has a great Etsy store with amazing finds. But um, this is turned into a pocket. This is another little pocket here. And here's a bicycle that I stamped on because I'm assuming at this point in our adventure we'll be biking. Another cute card from the collection. A glassine bag and I just put inside, I made a little uh, tissue paper ruffle, tracing paper ruffle that I can glue on later. Smaller pages, another cue card that says I'd like to order. And here is a uh, an envelope. Yes, I do know what it is. And here's another cue card. Another pocket. Some short, shorter pages journaling card and a envelope that opens up here at the top to put some goodies in. More coffee dyed paper and this is a vintage airmail envelope. And final page is just a um, piece of scrapbook paper and then there's a faux leather pocket in the back. And that is basically the, the nuts and bolts of it and just really getting excited about the trip. And like I said, I'm going to take the charm off and then when, I, when it's all filled up and re when I return, I'll put the charm back. But what I wanted to show you guys also, um, what I do is... When I prepare for a trip, because we've done two trips before um, where I've made a, a journal, a travel journal, and um, so I'm sort of used to it at this point, and I bring things along. Um, this, for example, is a, uh, a photo mat. So right over here, excuse me for a second. Um, this year we bought this Polaroid camera. It was a little pricey, but it's really great because you can get prints right on the spot. And they're about two by three inches, which is a perfect size. And these are all the mats that I've made so we can put um, the photographs on top of it. So what I did was I did some stitching around the edges. I learned this from Daisy Collins on her YouTube channel. She's from Tsunami. She makes these uh, beautiful journal kits from Tsunami Rose is the name of her company. And so those are all prepared. What else do I have? I have little cute heart uh, paper clips in case we want to put things inside. And then I've got some journal cards that are all coffee dyed and inked and ready to go. And that's something that, you know, Victoria enjoys doing is she'll do the writing on a journaling card while I'm, you know, collaging on the pages over coffee. It's really a wonderful way to start our day when we travel. So in this envelope is just um, pre-made 
die cut. Um, I think this is from Kaiser Craft, but just different ephemera for collaging with our stuff. It's not the most original stuff, but um, it will be fun to incorporate some of it. And then this, these are, if I can get these in focus, are dino uh, tabs with the dates. So I have pre-printed out all the days that we're going to be in Portugal because that's important. And then here I've made all these little... Um, hopefully it'll come into focus the names of each city that we're going to be staying in because once we get to the south and we start biking each night we will be staying in another village and then la oh, almost last I have these um, I printed these on coffee dyed uh, manila folders and I cut them out, and they're just cute little tidbits, tat, tidbits or whatever, <laughs> forgot the word, um, that can glue down while we're collaging. And then just last but not least, just to show you, uh, this is my pen case that I bring along with me. And inside I've got an assortment of washi, because goodness knows you can't do enough with out it and I've got a pencil sharpener I've got a safety scissors because can't take the regular scissors on the the flight on um, in board on board glue sticks eraser glitter pens regular pens and so that's my share for today um, I'm really excited about this and I hope this year we have more. The last two travel journals that we made, unfortunately, we had problems with the Polaroid printer that we bought. And so we did not end up finishing those journals. But this year, I think we're going to do it. We're going to actually finish this travel journal. And I highly recommend this to anyone who goes on a trip because Often when we get home from our our trip, we don't find the time to put these things together. And this is a perfect way to, to do it, to get it done. But also it's really an enjoyable, calming activity while, while you're traveling. So, so that's it. And we're leaving Friday night. And I just want to thank you all for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, you can subscribe below. I'm going to be making a lot more videos of journals that I'll be making that I'm going to be selling in an Etsy store that I plan to open in a couple months. And also I'm going to be selling ephemera packs and probably digital downloads. Um, and it will all be on Etsy under, I think I have a name, but I'm not absolutely sure yet. But that's about it for today. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.